Okay, this is the video about the AMD Athlon 64 3200 video. Uh, this is a conclusion to that video. I um, added a GeForce G, uh, a GeForce um, 5900 XT to this computer. And um, I installed a driver in it, but I have a problem when I run uh, 3D accelerated games with this configuration. So I get this error which says C drive Windows Systems CV, uh, I mean NVCPL.dll error loading. A device attached to the system is not functioning. Well, I think this is the reason why the 3D accelerator isn't working um, for 3D accelerated games. <coughs> However, I'm able to run um, games that don't require 3D accelerators, like uh, Age of Empires. Games like that run fine. And I'll demonstrate. I was able to get the sound card to work. The Realtek AC97 sound driver. So what I did was I used a um, different version of that driver, which I loaded from Vogan's drivers. And I'm able to play sound now with that uh, driver. So a game like this works. But this also works on Windows 90, I mean Windows XP, so it's not a big deal. One of the bad things is uh, the music doesn't play on this computer for some reason. So I guess it isn't any better than having it, having a, or running a Windows XP. If that's the case. Yeah, this game runs just fine. No problems. I just exit out of here. Let me try running Shogo Armor Division, Mobile Armor Division. Let me just show you the device settings. 
device manager, sorry. So as you can see, the sound device is detected this time. It's working and it's detected. As for the display adapter, that's a NVIDIA GeForce 5900FX video card. It is uh, installed and it is detected. But it's not working for some reason. So I used the original driver and that didn't work. Try this one, try running it. See, it doesn't run at all. No 3D accelerated game runs. Which is just pathetic. primary display driver didn't work. Let me try this one. This one's just gonna hang. Just crashes the entire computer. Yeah, now, now the computer's crashed. have to restart the computer like that I've tried to run the game without um, 3D acceleration. See if that runs. See, without 3D acceleration, it runs perfectly. See, everything's playing, everything's working. So this is software mode.
Now it crashes again. Jeez Louise. I spent a couple of hours trying to fix it, fix this problem by um, installing different drivers, different versions of the GeForce um, 5900 drivers. Still didn't work. Now it crashed again. Quite annoying. doesn't work. I know it. Ah, this, this sucks. Just gonna install Windows XP on it. Yeah, it's really more trouble than it's worth. It would have been nice to run um, 3D accelerated games on Windows 98, but I guess with this uh, graphics card it's just not possible. Something that's just not going to happen unless I get a different graphics card. Yeah, I guess that's it. This it just didn't work out. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, so what I did now was I installed Windows XP on this computer. Because I was having problems with Windows 98. So as you can see, it's the same computer as AMD Athlon 64. 3200 plus 2.04 gigahertz 512 megabytes of RAM That's the processor Display driver is again a GeForce FX 5900 The hard drive is a 40 uh, gigabyte Western Digital Everything's the same and the sound driver is again a Realtek AC97.
So the first game I'm going to be running is uh, Age of Empires. As you, as you can see, it's playing the video and running. So I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. And before I wasn't able to play the music, right? But now I'm able to play it. Music plays just fine. Runs perfectly. Runs pretty nicely. The next game I will be running will be uh, Crimson Skies. Gonna play it at the highest setting. So there's no text issues here, everything's just playing fine. Videos playing.
Okay, the game plays in 3D. No problems. Good luck out there, you two. Go make us millionaires. Yeah, and Betty, try not to kill the boss, okay? He's the only friend I got, you know. Oh, sorry to hear that, Jack. I'll do my best. Follow me, Betty. Try to get a feel for your plane and keep your eyes peeled. Yes, sir. There's one of the sites over there. See it? Stone carvings could give a guy the creeps. Fly close to it, boy, to see if you can see anything. There might be something else good down there. Those carvings are the beginning of a cave. Say, there's an old altar down there. That thing has a few secrets. Gold. Perfectly, no problems. Pandora, this is Jack. Moving to site three. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Okay, that's it. The next game I will be running will be um, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Change the video settings. The game runs very smoothly on this computer. It's very playable. And this is a game that was uh, released in 1997. Playing on Windows. Uh, XP on a uh, AMD Athlon 64 3200.
Can't do a loop with this thing. Got him. Is there another one? Okay, that's enough. Okay, so it works. Using your harpoon and tow cables on the AC-8 over the lake. Very nice. It's very nice. Not only does it look good, it plays well as well. So the next game I will be uh, playing will be Shogo Mogul Armor Division. Before on Windows 98, I wasn't able to play this at all. Now I'm able to play it. It works. No problem with the text. runs very smoothly. Very nice graphics. So this game uses the same graphics engine as Blood 2, The Chosen. It's made by the same company as well. This is Avenging Angel on final approach. Drop point secure, over. Roger, fire for effect, over. Alright, Recon 4, dust off in 30. Alright, we're done. Don't leave without us. Hey, sweetie, you're wanted at MCA Dock Ave. As you can see, it runs per perfectly. It runs well as well. So the next game I will be running will be uh, Star Wars Dark Forces 2 Jedi Knight.
Okay. What's exactly like I played it back in the late 1990s or 1997. This is a game that was made in 1997 for Windows 95. It works on a disk computer with Windows uh, XP on it. Quite surprising. Enough. It works. Okay, so the last game in this uh, roundup will be Half Life Opposing Forces or Opposing Force. This is an expansion pack for um, Half-Life, which was released around Crabs first. Yeah. 
vicious little bastards. Okay, it works. There's no problem with it. It doesn't crash or anything. It runs perfectly. So this computer doesn't run every single Windows 98 game, but it does run a good number of them, and it runs them uh, just fine. There was no uh, crashes on any of the games that I played. Uh, the games played uh, flawlessly, and since this is a pretty high-end graphics card at the time, it plays them fairly well. So, yeah, I think... Um, this computer is good for retro gaming, the AMD Athlon 64 3200 plus socket 754. That's a good choice in addition to the Intel um, Pentium 4 socket 4 78 series of processors. So they're both good choices for retro gaming. And um, these processors are pretty uh, available. They're not uh, they're not very expensive. They're not rare or anything like that. They're easy to find. You could also play uh, retro games on uh, retro 98 games, Windows 98 games on uh, Athlon XP processors, which is a processor um, line which came before the AMD Athlon 64 socket uh, 754 series so yeah all three are good options so another big benefit of using Windows XP as a retro computer is that you can uh, connect to modern computers in your network so I'm gonna try to connect to a computer in my network HH2 that's a computer in my network and uh, connect to it now Gonna go to that computer right now. So basically, that folder is the folder that I opened up on the other computer, and I'm going to send a message to that computer. I'm gonna put the date, the time, and a message. Oh, how are you doing? from HH2 computer. Put it on my desktop. Message. I'm gonna drag it right in here and see if that message appears on the other computer. 
So this is a message on my uh, Windows XP retro computer. So hello, how are you doing today? I am doing fine, thank you. And I'm gonna put uh, from um, what is this computer's name? Who am I? So the computer's name is Ah, oh, it doesn't work on this operating system. I'll just put Ace 1000KS 1975 and save it and go back to my uh, other computer look at the message again it says I'm doing fine thank you from Ace 1000KS 1975 so it worked so this is important because I can send files to my retro computer without having to burn a CD or a DVD disc to do it you know I don't have to use a USB drive to like send files from one computer to another I could just use the internal network which is a heck of a lot better so I'm gonna shut down this computer and go back to my retro computer yeah that's one of the benefits of, uh, of it so that you can send patches and programs and files to the retro computer and it's just all connected to the network that's that's very convenient and you couldn't do that with Windows 98 or Windows 95 you know that's one of the benefits of using XP